cannot exist without calcium. In the boundless universe and vast seas, life takes shape and reproduces itself by taking advantage of external substances. During this process of life, calcium ions help generate the metabolism by combining with other living substances in the human body, thus playing an important role in the whole process of continuing life. Research in the last 25 years of this century has produced the most remarkable achievements in health products. Now let's look at the relationship between calcium and life. Calcium is the source of human life. It plays an important role physiologically in every stage of human growth, from conception to childhood, and through middle age to old age. Calcium is an essential and indispensable element present in the health of the body and human longevity. At the beginning of life, sperm moves towards the ovum with the energy provided by calcium. To scientists' surprise, they found that there is a calcium component on the top front part of the DNA carried by the sperm. It's this acrosome that helps the sperm pierce and penetrate the inner membrane of the ovum cell. When the sperm reaches the ovum cell, fertilization takes place. Meanwhile, undulating substances composed of calcium surround the ovum cell, which is called calcium vibration. Look, the calcium vibration is showing its function, stimulating the ovum, enabling it to gain the ability to be fertilized. A life begins. We see from this that if calcium was lacking, it would directly affect the fertilizing vitality of the sperm, leading to infertility. The most ancient coral polyps that absorb calcium from the oceans form limbs and trunks evolving from little more than an intestine into a shellfish in the form of a mollusk by absorbing calcium from the seawater to compose the shell to protect its body. Later it evolved into an amphibian, reptile and bird, as calcium composed skeletons. When human beings came into existence through biological evolution, calcium became the cranium that contains the brain and bones of the hands and feet and caused mankind to become the only spiritual being among all creatures with the ability to think and to move and walk freely. Newborn infants usually gain between 20 and 30 grams of weight each day. Between zero and six years is the most exuberant period of calcium metabolism during human life. The calcium needed at that time is over twice that of the newborn period. Calcium sufficiency at this time is the chief condition of dental health. Calcium deficiency in young people under 18 years of age will have a serious negative effect on their growth. Children from 0 to 18 years of age should take Tianxi Nutrient High Calcium Powder for children. From 18 to 30 years of age, people's bone quantity keeps increasing and reaches its acme before 35. From 35 to 50, the bone quantity is gradually lost. During 50 to 70, people lose bone quantity more rapidly. This long-term calcium loss in human life causes abnormal calcium distribution in the human body. Let's discuss the influence of calcium specifically on women. From the third month of pregnancy, a fetus's need for calcium increases greatly. At that time, the mother supplies a large amount of calcium from her body, and besides that, the quantity of her own blood circulation also increases, as a result of which, the calcium content of the blood decreases and displays a low blood calcium content. Low blood calcium content is likely to cause the mother to have hypertension, birthing difficulty, pelvic deformity, and loosening of teeth. It can also cause malformation in the baby. Pregnant women need to be nourished with more calcium from the middle stage of their pregnancy. During the nursing period, a woman's need for calcium will increase because the mother gives a lot of calcium to her baby through her milk. During this time, a large amount of the calcium stored in the mother's body is consumed. If not nourished by additional calcium in time, the mother will suffer from aging, low immunity and endocrine imbalance and her health can be endangered. Menopausal women experience a decreased functioning of the ovaries and a lowering in estrogen. 
ovaries participate in the metabolism of some important organs in the human body. They have an especially close connection with bone metabolism, which will affect a woman's physiological and nervous system. The low calcium absorbing ability of the aged woman's intestines causes the body to be seriously calcium deficient. Therefore, we say that women need calcium supplements throughout their whole lives. Calcium deficiency causes a number of diseases. Because of the stimulation of skeletal muscle, people can move easily. The stimulation of the skeletal muscle is caused by calcium ion, the density of which causes the contraction and expansion of the skeletal muscle. The smooth muscle and heart muscle, which we can't see, both derive their physical functions from the calcium ion. Like an army commander, calcium directs all the movements of the body. During the contraction of a muscle, when the nerve fiber is activated, calcium ions flow into the cells. As we mentioned above, the density of calcium is the standard controlling the contractions of the muscles. The calcium stored in the muscle is mainly in the myoplasm net of the skeletal muscle, and the myoplasm net is the most important transportation system for the transmission of the calcium ion. When the skeletal muscle is excited, calcium flows from the myoplasm net into the cells. The cell fluid will contain more calcium ions to help the skeletal muscle to contract. The calcium ions in the cells flow out to help the muscle to expand. The whole process is very short. We can see the shining calcium ion in the myoplasm net when a muscle contracts. If the balance in the muscle is destroyed for any reason, the smooth muscle and the heart muscle will be abnormal, which causes people to lose the ability to control their bodies. Calcium in the form of bone salt gives hardness to the bones, which enables the skeleton to carry the whole body. If we observe calcium deficiency in the bone, we will find that the metabolism of the bone cells is abnormal. This condition is called osteoporosis, which causes the following symptoms. Bone pain, susceptibility to fractures, and bone abnormality. The most serious is that people break their bones frequently, even during normal activity. In the healing period, people need more calcium to accelerate the healing of the fracture. Poor nutritional absorption and poor sunlight absorption can prevent calcium salt from penetrating to the appropriate site, and that causes rickets. The main symptoms of rickets are soft cranial bones, chicken ribs, and bowed or splayed legs. A long period of calcium deficiency can bring on osteoporosis, which is a common and frequently occurring disease of aged people. The prevalent symptoms are pain in the waist while bending, and frequent constrictive fractures of the breast and lumbar bones. In aged people who lack calcium, the amount of calcium in the bone is only 60%. The result of osteoporosis is degenerative transformation. So older people should enhance their nutrition and exercises, while at the same time they should supplement their calcium intake, which can help them to regain health. Everything points to diseases of the bone needing supplements of calcium. Tianxi Nutrient High Calcium Powder has special properties for improving bone density. Now, let's take a look at the diseases of the immune system caused by calcium deficiency. When a foreign germ, virus, toxin, or other disease-causing body attacks the human body, the immune system acts as a guard to do battle with the invader and reject foreign matter. But it is the calcium ion which gives the first alarm about the invasion and gives orders to the immune cells to act to seize the enemy by taking different shapes to capture and destroy them. Therefore, we can see the importance of calcium in the functioning of the immune system. When people lack calcium, the immune function will be fouled up and permit diverse skin conditions, such as scabby skin, dermatitis, acne, and others, as well as rheumatism.